Dangerous situations may still remain after installing a safety light curtain. Reaching through and reaching over situations may be eliminated extending the minimum distance. For reaching under and standing behind situations, other solutions have to be taken into account. To check a reaching over situation, the height A of the hazardous area and the height B of the upper edge of the detection zone are relevant. With the given values, the additional intrusion distance C reaching over can be identified on the table. The resulting minimum distance S reaching over has to be compared versus the S reaching through value. The bigger value is leading. In reaching under situations, crawling under the active optoelectronic protective devices has to be avoided. In case of access prevention, the maximum gap between the first beam and the floor shall be 300 mm max. Other distances from the floor underlie special requirements. A gap between optoelectronic device and hazardous movement that allows the operator to step between the device and the machine should be avoided too. We name it step behind situation. In the following we will show you two possibilities to prevent harm of the operator. With the restart interlock the machine maintains stopped once the sensor is interrupted. The operator has to leave the hazardous area to reset the AOPD from a safe distance. Only then the machine can be restarted. Accidents may happen when a second person appears at a spot while the operator is still located in the hazardous area. That's why the reset is only permitted in totally visible areas. In case no total visibility is given, an additional horizontal device detects the operator in the entire area. An electrical connection between the vertical and the horizontal device is called cascading. After the installation, the next task is the adjustment. Supported by a laser beam, initially the sender is roughly aligned to the receiver. Guided by LEDs, the alignment is fine-tuned at the receiver. The more LEDs are on, the better the alignment. A test rod check has to be executed to test the effectiveness of the protective measurement. 